guys, I would like to apologize. We were having an echo issue, but um, now it's resolved. Hopefully you guys were patient enough, but I thank you so much for coming. I have a visitor, guys. Um, so hopefully she'll be uh, ready for us. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that um, we don't have the echo. So thank you so much, guys, for your patience. And yeah, we can start. So we have a visitor, guys. Hopefully, oh, she's yes, yeah, she, she'll be ready for us, guys. So we have an issue with the echo. So I just want to make sure that echo has completely gone. Can you hear the echo? If you can hear any echo, let me know, guys. But other than that, we are going to bring our guest and see um, how it goes. Again, guys, welcome to Girls for STEM. Remember, we are here to encourage girls to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And we're here to uh, showcase the engineers and uh, other STEM advocates, do those that are pursuing um, you know, STEM, and also to encourage the girls that they can uh, you know, be exposed to this um, endeavor. So guys, let's try one more time. We're going to bring in uh, Chisha. Uh, and, and, and Sila, uh, she will let me know if I'm pronouncing her name very well. I'm so glad to have her, guys. Let's bring her up. Let's see if the echo issue is not there, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging in there. So let's yes, bring, so let's her, bring her up. Wow, the wow. echo is the echo is let's see if we can put it for two minutes and two minutes. So I'll let you so go. Let you go. Uh, can you please uh, introduce, you introduce yourself? yourself? Okay, uh, thank you so much for having this question. Um, my name is Ensla. If you actually pronounce it, it's Ensla Chisha. Yes, I live in Zambia, so I'm meeting you guys from Zambia, and I am a strategic information assistant working for USAID CEF. That's a project that actually supports uh, ending AIDS and just like supporting a, an entry area here in Zambia. Yes. Thank you, thank, thank you so that. much for that. The echo is still coming, so I will so minimize my talking and let her talk more. So you can maybe speak louder because the volume is a little bit low. So, um, so, um, so, um, so, so you just mentioned that you're working for USA, correct? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. So I would like to ask you, how did you enter school? Did you go into school or what happened? Can you share with our viewers, please? Okay, so I am. I'm gonna share with you. Like my if you can speak, if you up, can a speak up a little bit, bit, I think. Okay, let me just uh, check if I have. Um, okay, my volume is like on max. So let me. Um, I just want to like explain my story to and share with my story with everybody. I actually wanted to venture into STEM courses when I was a very very young. When I was very young actually, when I was a young girl. I was so interested in um, animation. I loved cartoons. I loved 3D animations. I loved 2D animations. At that time, we had no 2D animations, and I was like a Walt Disney fan. So I, I was, I, I'm, I'm naturally an, an artistic person. So I, I used to love to draw, and so I used to wonder, okay, how is it that my, the drawings that I do have, are not moving like the ones on the TV. You know, so I was just so curious and I wanted to know, like, how does it work? You know, how does animation work? So um, at a very tender age, I wanted to, like, to be an animator. So I wanted to get into um, computer science. Yeah, computer science and just yeah, anything, graphic um, design and stuff like that, which is more of, of uh, technology, right? So that's exactly what I wanted to major in. But then um, when I... When I uh, when I'll tell people that okay this is what I really want to do this is what I this is what I, I dream of doing I got negative feedback from people a lot so they'll tell me uh, such courses are not lucrative here in Zambia um, there are not so many institutions of learning that actually um, provide such courses and then I was also told art won't put food on the table so that really got to me and I got so demoralized. So I had to start rethinking my career path. I had to start researching again. So um, I I remember I had a very, a very, very hard time actually um, finding a career path to venture in after all that had happened. 
And then I remember after high school, I really got like really, really good grades. And those grades could actually take me into a lot of lucrative careers. So now I had the struggle choosing. So I think the, the course that actually came to mind was civil engineering, because I knew it wasn't, it wasn't so far from the art that I loved, because I could still um, be creative even in that course. And so I, I wanted to like pursue civil engineering at that time. So I was settled, I wanted to do it. So I, I went around like asking people to like share with me um, what the course is really all about, like people who could just like help me understand it more. And then I got some more negative feedback. I was told that, you know, um, such courses are for, for guys, you know, guys are much better at that. Um, and then I, I also remember that I had, I had um, financial difficulties at that time and my parents weren't able to actually sponsor me. So I opted to, um, to get uh, government funding, that was Basel, to sponsor me to um, social education. But then I was told that, you know, if you pursue a hard course, such as like engineering, then there's a higher chance that you actually lose your buzzer as well. So that really got to me again. I had to start thinking, wow. about, okay, um, how, do I, <laughs> how do I navigate this again? So um, that really, really got to me. And they were saying, you know, like, you know, if once you just fail, the government, you like, the government doesn't sponsor you anymore, so you forfeit funding and stuff like that. So I started to think, of course, again. So um, <laughs> I, I rethought the course again, and I decided to actually get into um, the social sciences. So I got into social science, and I decided to actually venture into development studies. So I, I just want to like share I just want to share some like takeaways that you can get from my from my story. My story is not like, um, you know, everybody will come and tell you, okay, I wanted to do this. I met uh, a lot of negative feedback from people, but then I transcended that and then I got into what I wanted and they'll tell a success story, but that's not my story. I decided to take in all the negativity and I, I, I didn't really believe in myself, sadly. And then I also thought, okay, uh, I, okay, and I also didn't have so much access to uh, vocational information at that time. And I also um, thought, you know, since the funding is not really available, and I can't pursue what I wanted. So my encouragement to any girl, any lady that wants to uh, pursue STEM is believe in yourself. That's something that I didn't do at that time. So believe in your capability. If this is something that you actually want to venture in, if it's something that you're passionate about, believe that you can. Because I believe that women have so much potential. And then um, the second takeaway that I'll ask you guys to um, get from my story is you have to um, shun every negative voice within and without that can that tells you that you can't because you can and you know it's that thing where especially here in zambia not so many women actually venture into stem courses because uh, people tell them that you know these are men's professions you can't really venture into such courses um some will actually like and you know there's a lot of patriarchy here in in zambia because of tradition so some people actually tell their daughters to say, no, uh, your place is in the kitchen, or you do a little bit more womanly stuff and you can't do like the masculine stuff. So it's like they actually, you know, group certain careers to say, this is masculine and this is more feminine, you know? So um, I would say that don't listen, don't take any, any negative, any negative um, voice, don't take in any negative voice that tells you that you can't, you actually can, it's possible. I've seen people, go into STEM and come out very successful, you know, and actually Kristen is one of them, you know. Um, and then another thing is don't let fin finances be a limit as well, because I believe that there are many people out there who are willing to sponsor people like you. You can actually just research, um, you can research websites or you research companies, institutions that actually sponsor uh, STEM, people who want to venture into STEM. They're actually there. And then, um, Another thing is research. Research about the STEM course that you'd want to venture in. 
research as much as you can. Learn what they are about. Like I believe that there are different fields into the STEM courses, right? Um, so research, because I, be I believe that, you know, there's so much information at the tips of our fingers. We've got Google now and like you just type what you want there and everything. There's so much information out there just at the tips. Because I remember in my time, that was like, I think the 2000, 2000, early 2000, I really didn't have so much um, info, like access to information. I never had like a smartphone at that time. So it was really hard, you know, we just had to hear from like we hear word of mouth and mostly we were influenced by peers, you know. So yeah, that's really what I'd like you guys to take away from my story. Like you can do anything. What limits us is actually ourselves, but we can go beyond limits if we're just persistent and if we're passionate about what we want. And I believe that anything, anything is possible really. So yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to avoid the echo that I have on, on my side. Right? 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 This is a very good example of something that sometimes you get discouraged. And when you talk about this discouragement, you never just say someone that you never did because of you. It happened. And thank you so much for sharing that and for coming to just tell us that because that really, really makes a difference in people's lives. And they will see that. So, guys, I want to apologize that this echo has been banging us for a long time. We tried everything, but we didn't see if I can bring. We shut down. We shut down. We shut down. Yeah, hello, hello. Okay, so it does a little bit. So, Atisha, you're still here. I'll bring you up. Just hang in there. So, guys, this is really interesting that she did want to pursue uh, STEM, but you remember the, all the uh, hard uh, experiences and all the uh, negative comments, you know, just even the nature, the, the notion of women being in science and technology, it's very daunting. And for her, she's trying to tell us that, you know, she tried to pursue that and it was really, really difficult for her to venture into the uh, career because uh, a lot of people uh, uh, kept on um, discouraging her. They kept on telling her that, you know, she can't do, including the, the buzzeries, which is just so, um, you know, it, it's just terrible. And guys, we bring in here engineers, we bring in here scientists, technologists, guys, so you can see that, you know, they are pushing and also to communicate, how can we still stick it in, in this career? Even now, guys, it's not possible to stick it in. That's why I'm here, guys, that we can talk about this, we can share how we can stabilize, how we can be strong, how we need each other, you know, advice from different people. Because just by yourself, it's really difficult. And we see, uh, Chisha, how she's telling us that, you know, when she asks someone, whoever she asks, and this is what's happening. Even now, guys, there are women out there, guys. We should go find them. We should share this information. There are women experiencing this kind of uh, negative, um, you know, comments, negative gestures, negative uh, connotation anywhere, such that they are either leaving STEM or they're just quitting, guys. So we have another question for um, for Tisha to just tell us a little bit again, what would she say to a young girl growing up who's trying to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics? I'm going to bring her up again. I know we did talk, uh, she did explain how she encouraged how women should be very strong in this career. They should not give up, but we have a question for her. What would she say to a girl growing up in the remote area out there in either Zambia, Malawi, uh, Ghana, anywhere in the world, including the United States? What should they think about? What should they uh, do in terms of STEM? So let's bring so let's up. Um, okay, so to answer your question, what I would say is you know, if somebody is passionate about a certain career path, especially in the STEM fields, um they should go for it you know if it's something that really resonates within them and they know that this is what 
I'm made to do. They should go for it, really. And you know that thing where even just now, if you had to go to uh, institutions of learning and you see, and you actually go and check um, the engineering classes, a very small percentage of, um, of uh, females are in those classes. And so I would really encourage um, somebody who really wants to engage in STEM to go for it, you know, try it, see, like explore, you know, and if you know that this is something that's going to magnify you, if it's a career path that's going to magnify you, please go for it. And let's change the narrative. You know, there's a lot of women who are being discouraged, like Kirsten said. Let's change the narrative. Let's show that we can do it as women as well. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, so oh, again, give us again, give us so what, what are you doing, what are you at, doing the at the moment? Exactly. What exactly. Are you what are you doing for you? To maybe to uh, maybe help uh, those girls for two step or what? To, in which area, in which are, you area are you working on at the moment? So I will use my experience to actually impact people. Uh, so as in, I know that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of uh, actually boys and girls, they have a hard time when it comes to navigating careers because I did have a hard time myself. So I am currently running a um, career guidance program and mentorship as well so that I can encourage people to actually um, major into the courses that they want to major and also let them like have an informed decision before they actually venture into those courses uh, as they transition from um, high schools into universities. And I, um, I also help them with um, opportunities like funding opportunities and just professional development opportunities as well, including encouraging those who want to actually venture into STEM. I do have some people who I know who ventured into those courses. Just come and encourage them, you know, just let them know like, okay, this is what this field entails. And if you actually major in it, these are the skills that you need to have and stuff like that. So this is how I am actually uh, helping people so that they don't have to go through what I went through because I think I was really lost <laughs> during the times that I uh, the time that I was actually navigating my career. So I don't want people to go through the same experience. I want people to go well informed. I want them to go knowing that they can. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing currently. Wow, that is really awesome, guys. So what a, a very good gesture that she did. She actually now um, went into encouraging girls, young girls to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And just to bring people, those who have uh, done, uh, you know, science courses so they can see. Wow. Thank you so much again, um, Chisha. Thank, Chisha, you, thank so you so much. much. Hopefully, Hopefully we can, we can see, see you again. You again. And I hope you will get the projects from you. Um, the echoes, but hopefully it's going to go through, you can stick around, stick around, no problem. No problem. We have a, we have a, a, a topic to discuss. Thank you so much. Sure. So thank you so much for Tisha. We really appreciate for her to come in, guys, and explain to us how, you know, sometimes we may be affected by not really pursuing the career due to people around us. Uh, people talking about things, just blocking everything that you want to do. And that's why we are here to share this knowledge, to let everybody who's trying to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, to encourage them. And we'd like to see Chisha to come again, to speak to us again, guys, so she can tell us more how she's doing. And she has actually done a great thing of actually now encouraging, you know, uh, kids, people who are coming up, so she has channeled that energy into a uh, very positive energy. That's really great. Guys, if you missed um, Chisha, she was here, guys. Um, she just finished talking to us. Sorry, guys, we were a little bit delayed on our channel because we had um, technical issues. But um, here I am, guys. That's what's important. Here we are. And that was Chisha. Here was telling us. You know, she wanted to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but um, she couldn't because of the environment she was in. So many blocks, you know, wherever she goes, you can't do this because you're a woman. You can't venture into this course because you're a woman. We can give you a scholarship because you're a woman. You know, just so many things, which is just uh, not fair. But now, guys, we're here to fight that. 
to team up, to share how we can navigate, maneuver into this uh, career. Thank you so much, guys.